we're looking at building industrial scale uh, deep learning applications at 100 times lower costs, but with still comparable results. So what do these big companies have compared to us? They have 100 times more data, they have 100 times more computational power, and 10 times more people on their projects. So some examples of what they're capable of. Google has learned cat faces from YouTube videos. They had 10,000 CPU cores to do this. Facebook, of course, has a huge database of our faces. Uh, Baidu has classified uh, or has created an image classifier with 144 of these very high-end and expensive K40s. So this is a summary of the comparison between us and them. They have these high-end clusters, whereas we have desktop GPUs. Um, they have very clean hand-labeled data. We have just crawled data, and they have tens of developers, whereas we have just a few grad students and a highly efficient system. And I'm going to go into more detail of these three things with a couple of examples. And uh, we should give some credit to Alex for installing the GPUs and crawling this data set. <laughs> uh, so the first example is face recognition, which we wanted to try first with much lower cost. Uh, so we grouped uh, several public data sets like ImageNet, a million faces from those together with two million of our own crawled faces, and designed a 10 later convolutional neural net which we manually tuned, which turned out to be simpler and cheaper than other recent published networks. Uh, and then we trained the system on a distributed system with CXXNet and Parameter Server, which I'll mention a little later too. Uh, so as I said, this is much lower cost than the industry. It's just $6,000, comparatively little, uh, 20 fairly low-end GPUs, and it took 20, 10 hours to train this, and we achieved a result of 98% accuracy on the labeled faces in the wild data set. It's not quite as good as the, what, what they have right now, which is 99 plus percent, or what humans can do, 99.7%, but keep in mind this is just a couple weeks of tuning and training, so it will likely improve. Uh, then now we move on to object classification. So the main issue here is that the crawled data set is very noisy and the tags can be also fairly broad. So the top shows 20 random samples or nine random samples from the uh, image set tagged with baby. And they're not very clean. So what we did to try to clean it is uh, fairly straightforward. We ran the a subset of our data through Google Net to get a thousand by one vectors. And then we reduced those vectors to 99% of their energy or 90% of their energy with PCA and cluster that reduced data. And then we take the largest cluster as our ground truth. So the bottom image shows some of the random samples from that largest cluster. And then we can use those images as ground truth in a one class SVM to remove the other outliers. So here, here's another example of the same thing. Um, so next step would be to take these, uh, use the same method to clean our full data set, and then see how well that stacks up against other object classifiers after we train it with our distributed system, uh, which you can find here. It's open source, it's fast, it's pretty popular on GitHub, so you guys can go out and take a look, try it yourselves. Yep, that's all. <laughs> 